Hi Capricorn, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a uh, 2024 yearly read for you. This is going to be for any Capricorn looking for any guidance in their lives. Remember, this is going to resonate for anyone with Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns in their charts. Again, if this doesn't resonate, I'll have other readings coming up for you soon, okay? So, let's start with your reading. Capricorn, I'm going to do Mind, Body, and Soul for this reading. Remember to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate any of that. It uh, really helps grow the channel, okay? So, Capricorn, what do we have in store for you? Universe, let's get clear messages here for what is coming up in the year for energy for Capricorn for the year 2024. I hope your year's been good so far, and there'll be a love reading coming up after this, okay? So, let's start with the Moonology card for you first. I have a win-win outcome in forecast. Okay, it is forecast, sorry, and it's the full moon in Libra. Very nice. So a lot of you are going to see that there's going to be an opportunity here that's going to be in your favor. Win-win here. What will that be? Will that be love and relationships this year for you? Will that be your career? Will that be uh, your connections with your family and friends? Lifetime achievements? Let's see what 2024 has in store for you, okay? So we're going to start with mind, and we're going to see what's going on within your conscious and subconscious mind here, okay? I'm going to draw three cards for you. Universe, please give me clear messages to guide Capricorn through the year of 2024. What is coming up for Capricorn for the collective? Let's begin with your reading. So Capricorn, for mind... I have the King of Swords in reverse. I have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And I have the Judgment in reverse. Very nice. So, it seems to me that there's a lot going on within your head right now. And maybe you're not communicating your wants and what it is that you require for yourself. I'm getting here a lot of you overthink things. And there's a lot of negative self-talk here within your uh, mind here. And it's coming from an energy of protection for you with the Five of Pentacles. You see, this is a struggle here that you feel you've had to endure here in the past. Some of you are afraid to go back to that. Some of you are afraid to uh, put yourself out there, risk something that maybe in the past you've been wrong about. But this is a different opportunity here. And the judgment card is telling you you're not seeing the truth here. You're not realizing something about your potential here. And there's an awakening that's uh, hiding within yourself that wants to come out and express yourself freely. And there's lots of things going on that you need to let out in order to achieve or move past a certain situation. There's strong air energy here, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius coming through. Doesn't have to be any of those signs. You could be also dealing with someone who's negatively affecting you here. Someone who happens to maybe manipulate you or isn't keeping the truth to you. So you feel a burden towards this connection. You, Some of you may feel as if you're not able to let this situation go and you think about it all the time and this person drags you down. This person takes away your energy and there's a certain negative influence here that some of you are having issues freeing yourself from with the judgment here in reverse or wanting to move past it, okay? So definitely some internal mental struggles for you. Let's take a look and see why this is happening and see what's going on in the 3d world for you okay for the year so you may be misguided this year some of you may feel as if you need to be patient which you can do here okay uh capricorn you're very known for that hard work and patience here and you're very resourceful but I'm getting a very anxious energy coming from you this year about struggles, about losing something, about maintaining something here. In your mind, you feel as if you don't want to go back to how things were, is what I'm seeing here. So how is this going to be a win-win outcome for you? 
What are you manifesting in the 3D world? Let's take a look and see what is going on in body here for you. Capricorn, here we go. So for body, I have the Ace of Wands. Great. The Six of Wands, even better. And the King of Wands. Okay, strong fire energy coming through, of course. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Could be dealing with one of those individuals here in your energy. Uh, I am getting a sense here that you are actually making things happen. So although you may be bogged down by this internal thought that you pro process that you have and a lot of negative thinking and fears and an inability to completely free yourself from a situation, you're actually taking action here this year. Ace of Wands could be something new that you're approaching, some new idea, some new uh, energy uh, transfer towards a new hobby here. Some of you may be exercising more here, okay? Um, you may have a new hairdo or a new look here. Uh, I'm just getting a lot of recognition that you're getting this year that you're manifesting. So you're definitely still working hard as you are, Capricorn. Six of uh, Wands, Ace of Wands, making things happen, being truly recognized in the outside world, but not expressing yourself completely so that people know what's really going on within you. And so there's an energy of, you know, giving and uh, spending your time wisely this year with people that you admire and being passionate about different outlooks of life and how you will choose to spend your days this year. Uh, you're going to be choosing things that you feel most connected to. You're going to be feeling like you have more energy this year. Some of you may have a new diet plan or a new look, like I said. And there's a really great energy coming through for you here. So I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to be doing things that you weren't, be, you weren't doing before in the past. Perhaps there have been other reasons why this has been happening to you, but a lot of you could be stubborn about this and now finally opened up. So there is an energy of moving through, getting things done this year, being recognized by people, having a different look and outlook in life. That's really great for you for this year. Okay, let's take a look and see what is going on with soul, the spirit here. What is going on within you? What is going on for what is your soul's journey for this year? We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So Six of Pentacles is telling me that a lot of you will be feeling like you're giving more of your energy towards individuals that are deserving, of course. And kind of not dismissing, but... Freeing yourself from individuals and energies that no longer resonate with you in the past years. So some of you may be um, limiting your friend group. Some of you may be choosing a new friend group here. I'm not sure what it is, but there's an energy of, well, I feel like I don't connect with this group anymore. So I'm going to take my energy elsewhere. And it's not like you're abandoning anybody here. It's just choosing you to spend your energy more wisely here in this scenario. Oh, there goes the light. <laughs> um, Ace of Swords. It does tell me that this is more about what you think is right here and what you believe in to be true. And perhaps for some, it may be cutting off communication here or just letting it be and moving forward and there may be people that may not understand why you're choosing to let them go or release their energy because there were parts of these individuals that were tying you down and your spirit your soul wants to align to its most truest self and in order to do that, it can't surround itself with lower vibrational energies from other individuals. Uh, and it's not, it's not about them not being able to come back into your life at some point. It's just right now, 
in order for you to be in the energy that you are this year uh, with all your accomplishments here and things that you're doing here in the 3D world, um, there are people that you will be letting go of. But there'll be other people, new people that you will be connected with. And there's going to be a better give and take in this situation here. And you feel like you're going to be getting something back as well as giving to these individuals here in your life. So it almost feels as if you're clearing out uh, the fog in your life and maintaining more balance here with your connections and energies here. I'm going to get into, uh, we're going to find out for you, Capricorn, what any advice that we may have for you for this year. So it seems like there is a lot going on for you. Uh, you'll be in the process of renewing your connections and reviewing them. And you will be accomplishing lots here this year. And remember, you may have thoughts about this negative situation in your life that's bringing you down uh, the only way to get rid of this energy is to release it so your mind and soul are pretty tied here is what i'm seeing this is a win-win of course for you capricorn let's find out any advice we may have for you for the year <laughs> Capricorn, you are definitely the hard worker here, the disciplined one. There you go. Universe is telling you to keep doing what you're doing. Work hard as you do. Be in your energy, Capricorn. Things will work out because you are determined here. Ha! <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, yes. And as you do that, you'll begin to grow as a person. You'll begin to flourish. You'll begin to see all the potential that you've manifested for yourself throughout the year. So be patient and know that things, even though you may not see the end goal here for you this year, there will be a point where you'll be more satisfied with your life and who you are and connecting your mind, body, and spirit all together. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading here. Capricorn, thanks for watching here to the end. I really appreciate it. I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.